Hey, what is going on, guys? Talk Norwich City here, back for my predicted 11 slash preferred 11 versus Manchester United. This is part of the Norwich City fan vent calendar. A big thank you to Credo Asset Finance for making this series possible. Um, they're a really great company based in Norwich and they've helped me out a lot. So I think you should go over there and check their website out and even Twitter, drop them a follow. Links will be in the description. Um, anyway, back for my team to face Manchester United. Of course, in goal, starting is Declan Rudd. I think he's been exceptional in the past two games and I think he's needed to put them performances in because when you get given a chance uh, in the Premier League, you need to take them. Often this season, we've had players given opportunities and not really taken them. Declan Rudd has been one of them players who has taken his opportunity, though, and I think he's needed to because we all knew what a great goalkeeper was from performances at Preston, in the under-21 squad, the occasional first-team you know, cup um, squad run out. He's looked good, and he's looked good in the Premier League, and I think after this whole John Ruddy fiasco, Ruddy just needs to take a step back, just put himself in a good position mentally and physically, just take a break, let Declan Rudd sort it out. He's more than capable. And then Red, Ruddy might come back a better player, who knows. But for now, Declan Rudd's certainly the best goalkeeper. Um, in at right back, I'm going Andre Wisdom. I think we look much, much better with Wisdom there. And then next to him, having Bennett and Basong. I think putting Martin back in at centre-back, we saw it, it just doesn't work. For some reason... Alex Neal and Russell Martin are the only people at Norwich, in Norwich, in the world, that thinks Russell Martin is a centre-back. He's not a centre-back. He's just about a right-back. We were so much better when Russell Martin was shifted out to right-back um, and Bennett came in the middle. Bennett's better in the air. Bennett's better on the floor. He's a more commanding centre-back. You need that. Um, and going up against Manchester United, where they're probably going to be throwing Fellaini forwards quite a bit, you're going to need uh, Ryan Bennett in that squad. For me, Ryan Bennett goes next to Sebastian Bassong. Next to him is Martin Olsen at left back. Uh, I think Olsen's been pretty decent this season. One of our best players. Um, really, really good going forward. Sometimes questionable defensively. Was, of course, uh, at, at fault for the goal last week, kind of. He gave the ball away, a bit flustered. Not the best technically, but going forwards, he can deliver one hell of a ball. And that could be really pivotal in, in a, in a counter-attacking game plan. So Martin Olsen goes in there for me. I'm then going for a bit of a different formation. I'm going for three across the middle, sort of a holding three. I think we need to get players in the midfield that can help defensively and also add that bit of attacking movement if needed. Um, I just think that Manchester United are under a lot of pressure. They're going to be throwing men forwards. And if we can help out the defence as much as possible, we might as well. But of course, the balance between defence and attack needs to be there. I think that's that. this formation does that. So I'm going over a midfield three of Tete, Malumbu and Vadis Adidra Foe. I think Vadis deserves a start. Um, we didn't pay four and a half million for him for no reason. He's obviously a quality player and he's looked really assured the few times he's come into the team. And that pleases me um, as an Norwich City fan watching on. That really does please me. I think Vadis looks like a decent player. He looks really decent defensively. He looks calm on the ball. He looks good moving the ball forwards. And he does look good going forwards. Um, that would be my only criticism of the man next to him, Yusuf Malumbu. I think he's really good defensively. He can put in a tackle. But in terms of moving the ball onwards, I think he's fairly weak in that area. I don't think his passing is too great. Um, and I think that's an area that really does need to be improved on for Yusuf Malumbu. And then, of course, next to him, Alex Tete. Um, not been that great this season. Had a couple of standout games. Was fantastic in the second half against Everton with their long, uh, lunging strides forwards that really does orchestrate the game from the middle of the park. And that's what we need from Alex Tete. We need a command performance from the middle of the park. We need a performance of yesteryear where he gets the ball in the middle, he drives with it, and he's great defensively as well. We need, we need a calm-headed performance from him this weekend, and I think he could deliver that. And then the, the front three really is Redmond and Brady in behind Di Mercy and Bacani. I think Redmond is a player that really does need to step up now. Uh, he started the season so well, getting four goals in fairly quick succession. But since then, he hasn't been that great and could have influenced games more than possibly he has done so far. So for me, Nathan Redmond needs to go on the right-hand side and then Robbie Brady on the left. Brady can drop deep if needed be, uh, but he's quick. He's got a fantastic delivery on him. And we saw last week how important set pieces are. It was his delivery that led to the, to the, to the goal. Um, and in games like this, where you're not going to be carving out too many chances, set pieces could be your best chances. He's got a great free kick on him and he's got a great uh, corner delivery. So for me, 
Brady has to go in there solely for set pieces uh, and going forwards as well. Notable players who have dropped out include Wes Houlihan, Gary O'Neill and Russell Martin. I don't think this is the game for Gary O'Neill, although I wouldn't mind him going in there, maybe drop him out for Malumbu or someone. Russell Martin, I've already explained, and Houlihan because I don't think he's the type of player for this game. I think you need more defensive players who can track back um, against a strong Manchester United side rather than players who might benefit the game when they get the ball but won't work too hard to get the ball, if you know what I mean. Um, that's my predicted slash preferred 11. Bit of a different team, bit of a different formation. Um, let's hope Alex Neil watches this video and listens to me. If he does, I'm sorry, Norwich fans, because I doubt it'll work. But I think, you know, that's a decent team. Um, and I think that's the best formation to do so. Anyway, let me know your starting 11s. I'll read them and, and try and reply to as many as I possibly can. As always, I do love to see your guys' input on, the, uh, on my videos and stuff. Leave it a like if you've enjoyed and share it about on social media. And finally, a big thank you to Credo Asset Finance for sponsoring this video and the whole Norwich City fan vent calendar a big thanks to them links to them will be in the description a great company um, and that's for all from me peace out